Welcome back everyone. I am Shoptapurni from Bylife. Hope all of you are doing very well. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about a very important topic of genetics that is pseudo allele. And we will understand this with an example from Logins locus in Drosophila and related pseudo alleles. Okay. This video is going to be useful for UG and PG zoology students and also for CSIR life science NET aspirants and NEET aspirants. Okay. So before beginning, I would like to request you to kindly subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Okay. So without further delay, let's begin. Now, what is pseudo allele? Before knowing what is pseudo allele, we must know what is allele, right? Alleles are the alternative forms of the same gene. Okay. But whenever we are talking about pseudo allele, we are talking about alleles of different genes. Okay. So this point is very, very important. In case of pseudo allele, we are talking about alleles of different genes which have similar phenotypic effect. Okay. So, when there are different genes but their alleles have similar phenotypic effect, they are confused as the allele of the same gene. Okay. And that is why they are known as pseudo allele. Now, there are several other characteristics also. These alleles of different genes with similar phenotypic effect are located very closely on the same chromosome. Okay. So, as they are located very closely on the same chromosome, that means they always tend to be inherited together. Okay. So, they are almost inherited together. Here, you have to give uh, importance to the term almost. That means they are not always inherited together. But maximum time they try to be inherited together be because they are very closely related. Okay. Or very closely located. So they are very closely linked. And as they are very closely located, obviously the chance of recombination between the two alleles of different genes will be very less. So rarely they are separated by recombination. Okay. Because the distance between two uh, alleles or two genes are very very less that is why the chance of recombination is also very less that is why they are tending to be inherited together okay as their distance is very very less so in this condition when the alleles of two different genes with similar phenotypic effect very closely located on the same chromosome and has a very less recombination frequency or very less chance of recombination they are confused as the allele of a single gene but actually they are not because they are the alleles of different genes. Okay. That is why they are hiding their identity under this similar phenotypic effect. That is why they are known as pseudo alleles. Okay. So let's understand this with an example from Logins locus of Drosophila. And understand key characteristics one by one. See, this is a complex Logins locus of Drosophila where you can see there are four sublocus in this. This complete thing is a complex Logins locus. Okay. And under this locus, you will find different sublocus. And you have to remember that each sublocus is carrying different genes. Okay. And all of these are the alleles of those specific genes. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These sevens are the alleles of the particular gene that is present in sublocus 1. Okay. Then this is the allele of the gene that is present in the sublocus 2. These three are the alleles of gene that is present in the sublocus 3. And uh, similarly, these three are also the alleles of that gene which is present at the sublocus 4. So you can see different genes are present at different sublocus. But important thing is to remember that all of these alleles affect the same phenotype. Okay, all of them shows the same phenotype. And they are very, very closely located. This sublocus 1 and sublocus 2 are very closely located. See here, their recombination distance is only 0.045. Here also only 0.045 and here also only 0.06. That means they are very, very closely located. So, recombination between these two sublocus is nearly 0. Okay. So, that is why they are almost confused. All of these are almost confused as the alleles of a single gene at a single locus. But actually that is not true. There are four different subloci with four different types of genes with their respective alleles. So though they are affecting the same phenotype, they are actually present at different positions. Though those positions are very closely located to each other, but they are the alternative forms of different genes. That is why they are known as pseudo alleles. Okay. So from this, we can understand the key characteristics very easily that pseudo alleles are the alleles of different genes. Say, LZ8 and LZ, these 
two alleles are actually alleles of different genes. LZ8 is the allele of the gene that is present at sublocus 1 and LZ is the, is the allele of gene that is present at the sublocus 3. Okay, so they are alleles of different genes but they have similar phenotypic effect. LZ8 and LZ show the similar phenotypic effect. Okay, and they are very closely located on the same chromosome. See, they are very closely located. Their recombinational distance is only 0 0.09. Okay. If we uh, sum these two, then the recombinational distance between LZ8 or LZ is only 0 0.09. That is very, very less. Okay. So, as a result, they are very closely linked. And as their distance is very, very less, they recombine very ra rarely. Okay. Because we know that for recombination, there must be a subsequent or a, a quantitative distance or a large distance between two alleles or between, sorry, between two mutations, okay, or between two loci. But the distance between the subloci is so uh, less that recombination is very rare here. And as a result, they almost gets inherited together. But you have to remember that there is a term rarely recombine and there is a term almost inherited together, okay. That means they are not and it is not like that they are not recombining at all okay they will recombine but that is very rare and it is not like that they will always inherit together obviously they will be inherited differently but that that is also very less okay so due to that we may confuse that lz and lz8 these two are the alleles of the same gene because they are very closely located and they affect the same phenotype okay so we may confuse that but it is not the fact. They are actually the alleles of different genes. LZ8 is the allele of the gene present at the sublocus 1. Whereas LZ is the allele of gene that is present at the sublocus 3. So though they seem as the alleles of a single gene. But as they are not. That is why they are known as pseudo alleles. Okay. Now I think the concept is clear in your mind. Why they are called pseudo alleles. Though they seem the allele of a same gene. As their distance is very very less and as they affect the same phenotype but actually they are the alleles of different genes that is why they are known as pseudo alleles okay and this observation is based on experiment by mm and kc green now uh, we will look after lodgens locus in drosophila see whatever alleles i have mentioned here in this picture you have to remember that all of these alleles are actually mutant alleles okay and all the mutant alleles for this Lodgens locus is recessive to the wild type. Okay. That means whenever I am talking about, uh, say I am talking about LZ, this allele. This is a mutant allele and its wild type version will be LZ+. plus. Whenever I am talking about LZ3, that means it is a mu mutant allele and its wild type is LZ3+. plus. Okay. Whenever I am talking about any kind of wild type allele, I will put a plus there. Okay. Got it. And you have to remember that. The wild type allele for Lodgens locus is dominant over mutant allele. So, see here, LZ plus is a wild type allele, which results in wild type shape of the drosophila eye. Whereas, LZ is the mutant allele, will, which converts the wild type eye shape of drosophila into a Lodgens shape. Okay, got it? It is a uh, shape like a Lodgens. Okay. And another thing you must remember that the LZ plus, that is the dominant allele or the wild type allele, wild type allele is dominant wa uh, over recessive uh, mutant allele that is LZ. Okay, so LZ plus or wild type allele is dominant over the mutant allele that is LZ. Okay, so LZ is recessive, LZ plus is dominant. So whatever allele are presented here, okay, all of these are actually recessive alleles. That means all of these are actually mutant alleles. Okay, got it. Now, let's understand what will be the effect of phenotype produced by cis and trans combination of different lodgens alleles present in different sublocus of the homologous chromosome in a complex locus okay see there are two combination there are two combination can be present one is cis combination another one could be trans combination what is cis combination cis combination means when two mutant alleles are present on the same chromosome of a homologous pair of chromosome okay see these two are the homologous pair of chromosome on which lodgens locus is present okay lodgens complex locus is present and you can see the two mutant alleles that is LZBS and LZK are present on the same chromosome. Okay. Whereas another chromosome of the homologous contains all the wild type alleles. So when two mutant alleles are present on the same chromosome of a homologous pair, that type of combination is known as cis combination. Okay. So as we know, the pseudo alleles are uh, very less likely to get recombined. 
so when no recombination will be there what will happen see if this is the condition of cis combination and no recombination is there so obviously this will produce a mutant product as there are mutant alleles and as there are no mutant alleles here all are wild type wild type is denoted as plus sign okay wild type alleles so this will form wild type product and as we know that wild type are dominant over mutant okay so obviously overall wild type phenotype will be expressed that means normal eye shape will be found in drosophila okay so you have to remember that in case of cis combination if no recombination is there then the phenotype becomes wild okay wild type phenotype or normal eye shape of drosophila now if recombination occurs in cis combination how will the thing change see here we know that recombination is a rare event now if the recombination occurs between any site except the two mutant site like on this site or on this site you will get wild type phenotype like the non recombining ones okay like in this case what will happen one product will be lzbs lzk then plus plus so mutant product another will be plus plus then plus plus wild type product and as we know um, wild type product is dominant over mutant ones so overall mutant wild type phenotype will be there that means normal eye will be there on the other hand if the recombination occurs here then also wild type phenotype will be there because one product will be lzbs lzk plus plus and another product will be plus 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 so one will be mutant type one will be wild type so overall the wild type phenotype will be there but the, the if the recombination occurs between the two mutant alleles okay that means if the recombination occurs here then what will happen then you can see one product will be lzbs plus 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 see lzbs plus 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 and another one will be plus lzk plus 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 lzk plus plus okay so it is also a mutant form it is also a mutant form so obviously we know that mutant forms are recessive in nature so in case of homozygous mutant only the mutant phenotype will be shown that means the eyes will be of lozenge shaped okay so in case of cis combination if no recombination is there then the eyes will be of wild type and if there is recombination between the two mutant alleles then you will find some mutant phenotype there okay that means lozenge size will be found there now next thing is that if the combination is trans combination then what will happen now what is trans combination trans combination means where two mutant alleles are present on different chromosomes of a homologous pair of chromosome okay see here these two are the homologous pair of chromosome and you, you can see here there are two mutant alleles one is lzbs for sublocus 1 and another one is lzk for sublocus 2 but these two mutant alleles are not present on the same chromosome like cis con configuration okay but here the lzbs is present on this chromosome whereas lzk is present on this chromosome okay and this is the trans configuration and as we know in case of pseudo allele the recombination is very rare so in case of no recombination what will happen this will form mutant product as it has a mutant allele here and this will also form a mutant product as it has a mutant allele here so overall mutant phenotype will be expressed as both the uh, chromosomes are forming mutant product uh, and in homozygous mu mutant condition obviously mutant phenotype or lozenge eye shaped will be expressed okay now what will happen if there is recombination i have earlier told you if the recombination is between the two mutant alleles then only we can see some uh, different product from the non recombination uh, non recombination okay so if the recombination is between these two uh, mutant alleles what will form one product will be lzbs then lzk plus plus lzbs lzk plus plus and another one will be plus 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 so one will be mutant type and another will form wild type product and as we know wild is wild type product is dominant over mutant type so obviously mute wild phenotype or normal eye of drosophila will be produced here okay and if the recombination was between this site or this site obviously then only mutant products will be formed and mutant phenotype can be shown only when the recombination is between two mutant alleles then only uh, wild type phenotype can be shown okay so in case of trans configuration when no recombination is there mutant phenotype will be shown which is different from cis one and in case of recombination uh, between two mutant alleles wild type phenotype will be shown which is different from cis configuration okay now another thing is that if two alleles are present on the same subloci of different chromosome of the homologous pair then what will happen say the two alleles two alleles are present on the sublocus one see here lzbs and lz8 are present on different chromosome that means they are in trans configuration but the thing is that they are present on the same sublocus okay so if in this condition recombination occurs what will happen in normal condition it will produce mutant product it will produce mutant product overall product will be mutant like no recombination condition okay but if 
uh, recombination occurs what will happen if recombination occurs at this place what will happen lzbs plus 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 lz8 plus 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 if recombination occurs at this position lzbs plus 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 lz8 plus 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 if in this position lzbs plus 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 lz8 plus 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 so in whichever position recombination occurs they will produce only lzbs plus 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 lz8 plus 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 that means both will be of mutant form so overall mutant phenotype or lozenge shape eyes will be shown okay so if the mutant alleles are present on the same sub loci of the two different chromosomes of a homologous pair then the recombinational product will not be of wild type okay you will not find recombin wild type recombination product like this one okay got it so in summary we can say that if there is cis configuration then if no recombination occurs there the product will be of wild type phenotype okay with normal eye shape if recombination occurs between the mutant alleles which is a rare event then mutant phenotype or lozenge shaped eyes will form in case of trans configuration if the two mutant alleles are present at different sub loci and then no recombination occurs then the phenotype will be of mutant phenotype and if recombination occurs though that is very rare between the mutant alleles then wild type phenotype or normal eyes will be found and if the two mutations are at the same loci like i have discussed right now that two mutation mutant alleles are at uh, sub locus 1 then there will be uh, no wild type product found in recombination or non recombination only mutant lozenge shaped eyes will be found okay got it so this is all about pseudo alleles and lozenge locus in drosophila okay and related pseudo alleles to that so i hope this video is now clear to you and if you find this video is full don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching and happy learning